Since gaining independence in 1960, Nigeria has remained deeply committed to fortifying its defense capabilities and necessity to safeguard its territorial integrity. This commitment led to the establishment of the Nigerian Defense Academy in 1964, dedicated to training officers who would protect Nigeria's sovereignty. Over the years, the institution has produced 9,429 regular officers until 2022. Out of this number, 5,858 regular course cadets since regular course 36 have graduated with bachelor's degrees in various fields. The Nigerian Defense Academy does not operate in isolation. Uh, we have partners internally and uh, uh, globally as well. Uh, for instance, we have a good relationship with uh, universities within our environment, such as the Amadou University uh, and others uh, like that. Right? Uh, we have uh, uh, an existing relationship with the National Defense Academy of India. Uh, you may wish to know that uh, the Nigerian Defense Academy was um, established by the India Advisory Training Team in 1964. Uh, so uh, there were the Kalanian staff and instructors here at the Academy. Uh, we also partner with the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst. Uh, we sent cadets to the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst. As a matter of fact, uh, there's one who is currently training there. She's female. The first is mm -hmm. cadet from Nigeria to be trained uh, at the Royal Military Academy Sanos. And she will be graduating in April next year. We also have a relationship with uh, the U.S. Military Academy uh, as well as the Pakistan Military Academies. The future is in collaboration and co uh, cooperating with allied uh, countries to see how we can benchmark with them, uh, thereby enhancing the capacity of the academy to train first-class officers for the enforcers of Nigeria. As the operational environment evolves, so do the training methodologies of the academy. In 2021, the Nigerian Defense Academy recognized the need to review its academic and military training curriculum to better prepare cadets for the contemporary combat environment. This effort saw the training of 234 officers of 69 regular course in 2022, who arguably became the most highly trained officers in the history of the Academy. Come 30th September 2023, the Academy will be graduating 391 officers of 70 regular course, each better trained than the preceding officers of 69 regular course with the inclusion of additional core skills in curriculum such as watermanship and precision shooting. These officers will be gaining presidential commission in the armed forces along with 311 direct shot service course officers of the Army and Air Force. Uh, we've uh, introduced new subjects in order for the cadets to be prepared for the um, security challenges they may face uh, when they pass out or when they are commissioned into the armed forces of uh, Nigeria. We have 709 cadets that will be passing out uh, from uh, 70th regular course, Army, Navy, and the uh, Air Force cadets, and then as well as the direct short service cadets. Everywhere. The cadets who are about to pass out, they will receive the high standards of training, uh, and this is mainly due to the introduction of the new curriculum uh, that was introduced uh, two years ago. Major General J.O. Ochai currently serves as the Commandant of the Nigerian Defense Academy and doubles as the Vice Chancellor of the Nigerian Defense Academy Postgraduate School. Assuming office on June 36, 2023, he brings with him a fresh vision for the academy. In every profession worldwide, there are changes uh, routinely, uh, which enhances their capacity to become modern day uh, leaders. To that, we are adding uh, trainings in uh, 
in the modern technology. Uh, for instance, uh, traditionally map reading is done using uh, compass matches. Uh, but today, digital maps exist and uh, we apply that. Uh, previously, a cadet is allowed to get his point during the point to point uh, match uh, up to an error of 250 meters uh, in circumference. However, today, there's full point accuracy in the um, finding their own position as so is uh, finding uh, other locations uh, within the battlefield uh, that uh, creates efficiency and uh, has the capacity uh, for them to lead men into battle whenever they are commissioned. Cadets from the 70 regular corps across the Army, Navy and Air Force have undergone rigorous academic and military training tailored to meet the challenges of the contemporary combat operational environment. Air Force cadets of the 70 regular course completed their final year training at the Military Training Center, NAF Base, Kaduna. In three phases, military operations, specialization and leadership development. The military orientation covered Air Force-specific subjects, NAF core values, general soldiering skills and leadership through theoretical, practical and presentation-based classes. Specialization was conducted in collaboration with various Nigerian Air Force training institutions. Meanwhile, the Nigerian Air Force Regiment cadets returned to NDA for joint training with their Army counterparts. The leadership development package for the Air Force cadets honed leadership theories personal styles, decision-making under pressure, and teamwork. It included exercises, simulations, and competitions like exercise big welcome, swimming, shooting, and sports. Cadets had leisure access to the Air Training Command gym and sports facilities. The Navy cadets of the 70 regular course spent 11 months in Oneh, Otakut, undergoing comprehensive midshipman training. This encompassed leadership, divisional duties, ship administration, professional naval courses, midshipman qualifying examination, and training in cybersecurity and maritime operations. The final phase of their training involved sea operations, training on selected Navy ships for four months. The Army cadets of 70 regular course were stationed in the academy for their final year training. During this period, they underwent various physically and mentally demanding training contents. These included both theoretical and field training exercises in areas such as map reading, skills at arms, tactics, communications and military history, among others. They also assailed specialized courses like the Basic Airborne Course, Company Amphibious Course, Basic Watermanship Course, and Combat Shooting. Additionally, the cadets continued to receive training geared towards sharpening their discipline, confidence, military bearing such as drill and equitation. The Office of the Academy Adjutant has been responsible for their regimentation, drill, and discipline. These aspects are honed on the parade ground, on the equitation wing. On the parade ground, the cadets are specifically trained to act as a team here. They learn discipline and they learn attention to detail. No military force can survive without a disciplined health body. For that reason, the cadets learn to take instructions and also execute those instructions to the letter. Army and Air Force cadets embarked on four weeks basic airborne course at the Nigerian Army School of Infantry, Jaji, with a total of 194 cadets participating. Among them were 15 female cadets. However, in Calabar, at the Amphibious Training School, the Army, Navy and Air Force cadets received training in the fundamentals of company amphibious operations equipping them with the skills required to operate in an amphibious environment. The Army cadets also underwent an extensive six-week combat shooting training and range management in Kachia, 
covering technical and tactical shooting with live ammunition. This training focused on precision shooting in close and open combat operational settings. Following proficiency in weapon handling, cadets participated in an inter-battalion shooting competition at the Nigerian Defense Academy shooting range in Africa. Cadets from Mogadishu, Boma, Abyssinia and Dalit battalions made use of AK-47 rifles and pistols to shoot at a set targets from a distance of 100 and 200 meters. Subsequently, the Army cadets embarked on field training known as Camp Highland. In the four phases of the field training, the cadets were in JOS, where they conducted physical training activities, which included obstacle crossing, grappling, upsailing, and point-to-point -point map reading, and Citizenship Leadership Training Center, Cherry Hills, JOS, Plateau State. In Bochi, the cadets conducted mechanized operations training hosted by the Nigerian Army Armored Corps. This training offered a realistic opportunity for cadets to engage in mechanized advance and quick attack operations with technical support from the Infantry, Armour and Artillery Corps. Furthermore, the Army cadets moved to Kachia where they executed tactical advanced operations covering more than 30 km distance while clearing various objectives including sniper positions section attacks, platoon engagements, and controlled enemy positions. This phase also involved a 50-kilometer dash back to the NDA base camp in Kachia and concluded with battle inoculation, a simulation of realistic frontline conditions using live ammunition. As cadets, right from the day you're admitted as a cadet, you go through a series of feed exercises, some maybe day exercises, some weekly, and then some as you progress in bars. But for the Camp Highland, it was just like a conclusion, like a summary of every military training we've undergone. And so it had to, it was made up of so many exercises. We had to go through all the phases of war. We were taught from advance down to defense, withdrawal, and series of internal security exercises like the raid, the ambush, and the rest. It was reality because you see yourself taking cover under life rounds, life firing. So because of the kind of training we've had in the academy, it was not something difficult. It was not like it was new. We were already exposed to it. Like for example, during our combat shooting in Katia, we were shooting under life rounds during our um, shooting after fatigue and the rest. So we had good knowledge of these things before we even concluded in our camp island. So it was a good experience. These packages are specifically meant to to build our capacity as army cadets. Considering the fact that when we go into the field, we'll be faced with these challenges of leading men and with the current situation of the country, and we would have to pass through all um, more challenging um, times than it usually used to be. This series of rigorous training exercises serves as a means for building military officers who will undertake one of the most daunting roles in the battlefield. Through this, the cadets are able to build their confidence and leadership skills, as this is essential for military leaders. The Summited Regular Course is special uh, considering the fact that um, uh, we incorporated uh, about five packages which uh, other cadets uh, did not benefit from. Uh, this include training uh, in airborne uh, amphibious operation, uh, method of instruction, range management, as well as uh, in special operations. Uh, those are skills that uh, the, the services, I mean the Army, Navy and the Air Force, commit a lot of resources to develop when these cadets are commissioned into their various services. But uh, the Nigerian Defense Academy decided to equip these cadets with these skills uh, to ensure that they are able to face the challenges of uh, the security environment as soon as uh, they are commissioned. 
After a demanding journey of academic and military training that commenced in 2018, the Nigerian Armed Forces will welcome 391 officers of 70 regular corps, combat-ready warriors and future leaders, commissioned on 30th September 2023 along with 311 direct shot service course 37 army and 31 air force officers nigeria can take pride in having capable protectors and defenders of its citizens and territorial integrity thanks to the rigorous and comprehensive training provided by the nigerian defense academy 70 regular corps of the nigerian armed forces and elite warrior defenders and protectors of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I think this is the best place anyone wants to be. If you want to try your confidence, you can come and try. If you want to check your courage, anything at all you want to achieve in life, this is the best platform, this is the best place, the best institute to actually know your real self, to actually know what you can do. And even those things you feel you cannot do, you see yourself doing them because there's no limitation as a human being. There's no impossibility in the academy. You see yourself discovering your talents, talents you don't even know you naturally have. But the academy gives you platforms, give you opportunities to express yourself, to see yourself for who you really are, and even accomplish things which on your own you don't think you can accomplish. So I think this has been the best five years of my life and I hope that on passing out when I get to the field, it will even be more good experiences, regardless of the challenges we all know we will naturally face as humans, especially as military officers in the making.